Greetings and welcome to my video. Here I'll introduce you to pendulums, what they are, what they do, and how they work. This is a valuable tool for anyone doing any kind of divination work, and when used correctly can be a lot of fun. First of all, what is a pendulum? It's an instrument used by psychic mediums to seek answers to any particular situation. Whatever kind of question is posed, it can shed light on matter the user is concerned about. Whenever a question about anything regarding finances, job security, relationships, or thoughts emanating from the subconscious mind, a pendulum can help one probe deep into the matter. As long as you ask closed-end questions, for example, do I need medication to treat my disease? Or, is it in my best interest to apply for this job? A pendulum will provide you with a clear yes or no answer. These can also work for more open-ended questions. However, a chart with various outcomes must be drawn for the best answer. To use a pendulum, first you want to ensure you're protected by higher spirits and that all your questions are free from your own personal bias. I recommend saying this. I call upon my higher self to answer these questions, which are aligned with the greatest good for all concerned. I seek only absolutely truthful answers, which are aligned with the greatest good for all concerned. I call upon Archangel Michael to protect my mind, body, and spirit throughout the course of this session, and Archangel Gabriel to communicate the highest truths from the universe and my higher self. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once you've programmed your pendulum for use, feel free to ask anything you're curious about. Handling this properly is essential to receiving the clearest answers. It's best if you hold the chain between your thumb and index finger and hold your other hand in an inch away below the pendulum so it can sway smoothly. So uh, here's uh, just a small example here of uh, how to use a pendulum. So I'll uh, start out by protecting my uh, higher self. So I'll go ahead and uh, say, I call upon my higher self to uh, answer these questions, which are aligned with the greatest good for all concerned. I seek only absolutely truthful answers, which are aligned with the greatest good for all concerned. I call upon Archangel Michael to uh, protect my mind, body, and spirit throughout the course of the session and Archangel Gabriel to communicate the highest truths from uh, my higher self and the universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now that uh, I've protected myself, I'll go ahead and uh, test the pendulum because um, you want to uh, ensure that uh, it gives you uh, definitive yes or no responses. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, start out by asking do I drive a Honda Fit? So, as you can see, the pendulum is nodding. It's going back and forth, which uh, indicates, yes, I do actually drive a Honda Fit. Thank you. And um, it's best to test it first, just to, so you know um, which uh, is yes or no. Start out by asking uh, questions that, that you already know the answer to. Uh, I was, uh, the question that I just asked regarding the Honda Fit, yes, that was a test. And yes, I do actually drive a Honda Fit myself. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, ask a question that I know uh, the, where the answer will be no. So in this case, do I drive a Tesla? And as you can see here, it's uh, swinging left to right, left to right. So that indicates no. Okay, so once you want to just wish to uh, start asking a question after the previous one, just uh, hold the pendulum like so, grab it and release and go ahead and start asking questions. So I'll just uh, ask a couple of here. Um, Will this YouTube video 
get thousands of views. Well, it's swinging back and forth, so it indicates yes. Thank you. And I thank you to all uh, who wa will watch this video in advance. Okay, so another question. Um, let's see. Oh, um, are the Toronto Blue Jays going to win the World Series this year? No. Well, sorry to disappoint all my viewers who happen to be fans of the Toronto Blue Jays, but no. Looks like the Jays are not going to make it this year. Thank you. I'll ask a couple of more questions. Um... I know this one will seem very con controversial. Uh, will um, will uh, Britain approve of a Brexit deal? No. Mm -mm. I guess not. So, I looks like uh, Britain and the rest of the world are in for tough times. Sorry to say. And one more question. Will uh, Donald Trump get reelected in 2020? Looks like a yes. Okay. Thank you for all your answers. For the more open ended questions, as I've mentioned before, a chart with various possibilities is needed. To activate the pendulum, roll it around the chart so your higher guides become familiar with it. When you do finally ask your questions, let your pendulum swing in the direction it wants to go. Okay, so um, for the more open-ended kind of questions, uh, you'll need to think of a particular subject beforehand before you go ahead and uh, draw a chart. Uh, you can just uh, simply draw a chart and uh, a pendulum will work, uh, will become in sync with it perfectly. Uh, so um, in this case, I'll go, go ahead and uh, ask uh, a couple of questions regarding um, the Zodiac as it applies to uh, my personal life. So I'll go ahead, what I'll do I'll just take the pendulum here, swing it all around the entire chart, so that way my higher guides become uh, familiar with it. Okay, so that's done. So uh, I'll take the pendulum, bring it uh, directly above the uh, black hole here, just to center it, neutralize it, and so um, you're ready to ask some questions. So. I'll go ahead and ask, what is my uh, sun sign? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but uh, it's swinging in the direction of Virgo. And, a matter, and as a matter of fact, I am a sun sign Virgo. Okay, there we go. So, and uh, now, I'll go ahead and ask another question. What is my rising sign? And it's uh, indicating that it's Scorpio. So I'm a Scorpio rising person. Someone who's very intense. Okay, thank you. Just a couple of more questions. Um, where is my natal moon placed in my astrological chart? Yep, 
Yeah, so as you can see here, it's uh, the pendulum is indicating Libra. And as a matter of fact, my uh, natal moon is in the uh, sign of Libra, which uh, makes, can make one very charming and um, a bit of a ple people pleaser. Okay, so just one more question. Um, and where is my uh, natal Jupiter placed in my astrological chart? It's in the sign of Cancer. All right, thank you. So um, that's just uh, one example of how you can ask uh, open-ended questions with the use of a pendulum. Now you might be thinking, how does this thing know all the answers? There are some things that can't be fully explained, but the most scientific answer I can give is that electromagnetic impulses from the subconscious mind are what's causing a pendulum to move in a particular direction. Psychic forces from within are determining each response, and the clearer one's clairvoyant and clairsentient abilities are, the more accurate the response. And of course, practice makes perfect, so the more experience you gain, the better. Pendulums come in many forms, shapes and sizes. As you can see, I have one with clear quartz, a multi-layered rod with clear quartz ends for each of the chakras, one with shungite with a reiki symbol, one with lapis lazuli, one with aqua aura quartz, and a brass point that can be opened and filled with sage or tiny crystals. It really depends on what material you're comfortable with that can make experiences like these safer and more enjoyable. If you feel you might get freaked out with any potential negative response you get, use a black tourmaline pointed pendulum. If you seek crystal clarity, use one with clear quartz. For best access to your higher guides, use amethyst or lapis lazuli. Whatever you choose, you'll want to spend many hours dowsing. So this has been an introductory lesson into the magic of pendulums. I caution not to rely on these for every decision you need to make. Even your higher guides can be wrong from time to time. So it's best to always use common sense when using these. Ensure these are always stored safely when not in use. But please enjoy what the universe has in store for your destiny. This is Sean wishing you peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching.